Who wants to try that? Try it. Try it. Good. Okay. So, so tell us about your company and tell us who your customer is. I'm my company. I'm a filmmaker. You're a filmmaker. Okay. Um. So. And your customer that you're selling to is it a producer? Is it a distributor? Um, are you selling to? Um, I mean, if I look at yeah. being a filmmaker and, and realize I'm I'm pretty much immune by this, so I'm going to say some things that may or may not be true. But your sales process could also be to the actor that you really want in the film. Yeah. So so you could pick any one of those as your customer. But which which customer do you have? Um, I think this would be. Okay, okay. So maybe, I don't know, if be like... So you don't have a film that you want to sell to somebody. You want to pitch your idea that you have talent in the filmmaking area that they can use. Yeah. Right, good. So I wrote, I craft films that will show you who you are and someone else's emotional experience. Let's write that one out. I craft films that will show you who you are through someone else's emotional experience. It's a little over. I know. If, if, if I said 15 words, everybody would be 16 or 17. If I said 20, we'd be 22 or 23. Okay? You're lucky because some of the times I do this with five. I will show you who you are through someone else's emotional experience. Someone else's emotional experience. So if I'm hiring you to do this, do I want to know who I am? Um, Is that who you're selling to? I, I, I'm not saying it could be, yeah. but I mean, it possibly could be. Who do they really want to show this to? Pick a, a potential customer that you might have had and that you might like to have, and let's look at this piece. I like, okay, let's do the same exercise we did before. So, important words. What are the important words? Craft, right? What else? I think the unique thing I hear here is emotional experience. Okay? So we're, and, and maybe, this is someone else's, isn't it? Right? Someone else. Those are the key words, right? And you have to have film in there because that's what you do. But those are the key words. Now, what do you want to have the person left with in this? Because it sort of seems that this middle part is a little bit wordy. It is. I think it's, I think it's like something about identity. Like... Cool. Being able to identify. I craft films that reveal. I like the word reveal. That's a great word. Yeah. Because that word says an awful lot of what you're talking about here. Yeah. I craft films that reveal your emotional your experience. Your sure. emotional experience with someone else's identity. Flipping it around. Okay, that's a possibility. Does it really say what you want it to say? The question I've got is, what what is it that I want that I'm going to get from this? If we're, if we're back to the um, features and benefit things, what is, what am I looking for? Am I looking to communicate who I am? Is that what I'm looking for in this process? Am I looking for? I mean. Depending on 
whether you're talking to a person or a company, that it might be a little bit different because you might have a different recipient for this information. There's a lot there. This, this is an yeah. interesting one. And um, tell me more about this someone else's emotional experience. Well, I feel that the whole inspiration to go see a movie is to see someone else do something. Okay. And then I see someone do something, I get something out of it. So it's like, I might not always be willing to have an emotional experience, but I watch an actor who is having one, and then I leave and I'm like, hmm, and somehow it gets me thinking. Okay, okay. Yeah. Um, I'm, 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 I'm now back to this same question I had before, yeah. which is, are we talking client or are we talking customer? in terms of who you're talking to in this setting? Well, it really sounds like client. It's, it sort of does. Okay. But, um, yeah, this is more client. And I don't know, I don't know how I would tinker this to, to have this go towards the customer. Okay, and, and, and I'm going to be very honest at this point. This is one of the problems with creativity. In creativity, you're looking for beauty. Beauty is what, what is part of the creative experience. And so if I look at benefits, or I don't, that's not true. If I look at um, what a customer wants, they generally fall into four categories. I think I said this last week. Feel good. Look good. Uh, make money and save money. From a film standpoint, the viewer is going to feel good, and that's what you get. From a customer standpoint, the theater standpoint, they're into making money. Right. Okay? And so, is there a way to craft something around this to say um, the audience's or your audience's emotional reaction to the films I create will bring large, large groups or something like that? Because as a theater, I'm looking for lots of audience, right? Mm -hmm. And so I really want something that says, yeah, this is going to give me lots of audience. It's not going to give me the feel good. I can potentially make that connection on my own. If my clients are going to feel good about this, then yeah, that would be mean a lot of people that are the audience and so on and so forth. But I'd like you to make it a little bit more direct. Yeah. There's something about making, making films that don't exist yet that people are really hungry to see. Okay. So, so um, I'm, I'm getting back to client versus customer. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. I, I would argue, though, that in film, things like film and music where you're you're bringing content to a venue. Yes. The venue is going to select your content for like the content itself. Like I, I don't I mean I think they're, they're gonna select the content because they believe the content will do something for them. Because right? they know their audience, like they have I'm thinking about a music venue for example. Sure. They have um, like let's talk about Nectar and Fremont. They have a big reggae audience, they have a hip hop audience, they have um, an, an Americana audience. So if you're trying to get, uh, if you're working to get a gig there, I think you would want to align your, you would want to lead with your genre or your, your content because 
they have an audience in mind for that content. Okay. Does that make sense? Yeah, I think it does. I think it does, and I think I think that's. Um, very appropriate with what we're talking about here. You want to lead with that, but you want to, in, a, in essence, say, because you have a really strong reggae customer base, my music will fill your house. Because what I'm really interested in is filling the house. I'm not interested in the reggae, I'm interested in filling the house. And so I want to have something about filling the house in there, as well as the fact that I'm doing this really narrow niche a very, very high quality product. Okay? So I'm gonna I'm gonna leave it at that. I, I think that we you've come up with some nice things here. This idea of emotional experience is a great thing. You that's what you're selling. You're crafting it, which is a really nice word. I love that. I like reveal, but I'd have to think about it a while to see how you craft those pieces into 10 words. And so at some point in time, maybe maybe do 20 words rather than 10 words. <laughs> but you need to get to the point where you, you talk about what the true benefit is for the house that's going to show the film. Yeah. Or it, unless you're... you're um, making this film for Bill Gates to teach his children. At that point, it is the feel good, right? Mm -hmm. But in most of us, we don't have the, the funds to make films to, feed our, to show our children, okay? Okay, you with me? Who's next? Yes? Um, mine's kind of similar to that, but. Okay, but, but tell, us, tell us what you do and who your customer is that you're addressing. Okay, I produce jazz concerts. Cool. And I was thinking this is for people that would be buying tickets. Okay, so this is actually going out to the client base of the people that are going to come buy tickets. Potential audience great. members. Great, 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 great. So so you're really talking to a different um, customer than she is. Yeah. Cool, great. Um, and I put... We present unforgettable musical experiences featuring highly talented women. And that's nine words, so I could have. No, no, that, that, that's fine. Let's, let's, let's write it out. Let's play the game. We produce. We present. We present. Present. Unforgettable. Musical experiences. Featuring highly talented women. Keywords here? Unforgettable. That's a nice word, isn't it? It's got a great ring to it, okay? Uh, okay, I'll, I'll give you that. And, okay. Okay, so, so I like those four words, okay? I was going to do something, I think I would cross those two because I don't think they add anything. Have room for more you have room for more, that's right. So, what do you do? Unforgettable music experiences featuring the women. Yeah. Okay? That says it, and that's short enough that I can remember all those words. Make sense? Good. Next. 
And, and if anybody decides they just plain don't want to do this, that's fine. Because I think the idea, we've gotten several um, examples, and if people are happy with where we are and want to move on, that's fine too. But if somebody would like to, yes? Um, I teach uh, toddler and preschool break dance classes. Okay, good. Um, so, mine would be. So, so who's your customer? Uh, parents and guardians. You bet, you bet. I love that, okay? <laughs> okay, so mine is safe and fun break dance classes for your active toddler in Okay. I, I like everything about it, but what's the most important word? Is the most important word Seattle? No. No. Then I don't want to end with Seattle. I want to end with, like yours, women was the real key for you, right? That was the thing that you want people to remember, and I love the fact that you put it at the end, because I was writing right along, and then you said women, and all of a sudden I said, oh, I know who your customer is. I know if it's me or not, right? Okay, so, so that was really good. So what is your most important word, and what do you want to end with? Toddler. Toddler? Is it? Okay, so, so let's write it out again. Or let's write it out. Um, safe and fun break dance classes for your active toddler. Okay, but you said Seattle, right? Mm -hmm. So, so we we got to get Seattle in there someplace because I I think it's important. I just don't think it's the most important. Uh, can I put it first? Sure. Seattle safe and fun breakdance class. Seattle based. Sure, you bet. Mm -hmm. Okay, so what is it that the customer really wants in this? What is the benefit that the customer gets? An hour away from the toddler. <laughs> That's like a parrot over there. That's for the parrot. Ask a question again, I'll just respond. So, I think it's safe and fun. That's really what you're selling, right? You're selling safe and fun. And I like it.